Let's continue Animal Crossing. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. So... <laughs> I went past the vending machine again today. In the hope of finding Scoot, and guess what? I got it. I think I've exhausted my luck. But I have acquired the Scoot card. Just... yeah. <laughs> Man, the odds. Fish. Okay. Well, today, um, the building is all done. Just have to move one more home. Okay. Toffee lover stew. This is un is it authentic. I th it is authentic, but like I already have it. Oh, the, yeah, the voucher. Okay, well. Wait, did, did he send me a fossil? I guess he sent me a fossil. Okay, um, just a sec. I will make room for this. Now just there's a particular type of outdoor setting. Maybe they should face this way. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Uh... The tray? Yeah, cool. You see, I've donated that painting already. I guess I can put it out here. It's like, whatever, it's art. I'm almost tempted to just get rid of this. So I do have that piece of art. Despite having an authentic version, I have a second authentic version. I thought you could only find one, but I guess not. Yeah, you know what, let's keep it simple. I got this. Instead of waiting for ages, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, 
It still works. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> I know you were looking at that. The display is just moving down one. What have I done? There we go. Yeah, that works. And then... I know exactly what I'm going to do with this. Push it down one. I might spend some Nook Miles to achieve it. Hedges are growing. I mean, even though these aren't real hedges, they kind of fit in. Wow. Yeah, he's gone. So I can go villager hunting today. Whose house is this? Is Pietro's house, right? No, Melba's house. Okay. The final move. Hey. Yeah, you out for a walk? What's the latest? I'm gonna go real hard today. Gonna play hard, snack hard, yell hoppity hard. The color scheme of this villager just suits <laughs> my logo color. Okay. Interesting. I think I want to walk. Well, ooh, that could be an interesting one to have as a backdrop. Hang on. I might change my mind about it. It is expensive. But it's one of those items that's like... I feel like it's rare. Uh, let's go... I certainly have never seen it. I think I needed one more of these. Mm. 
Okay, well... For now. That's definitely new. Infrastructure. Uh, layout changes. Island home. to be followed on. Not there, one one more, one more. fix this now. Just a bunch of random junk I have. Patterns. The custom designs, well, we can download custom designs from creators all over the world, and even share designs. You also want to take it on the go, visit the Nook stuff and redeem miles. 
Alright, so wait, now I can... Did all I have to do was just walk up to that thing? Wrestler's outfit. The horns. Graduate cowboy. I swear if that's all I had to do. Hey there, welcome body. Best part of taking a nap in a tree is how the tree puts you on the ground just before you wake up. Is it? Oh, what are you making? Welcome to House of Pietro. What are you doing? Glad you asked. Just making a golden wristwatch. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Second golden recipe I've gotten. Back to back. <laughs> How does this look? Oh, wait, I haven't learned it yet, that's why. Just checking. Oh, I guess it's meant to be put on a stand. I mean, I guess if I want to flex it. Still waiting for that golden toilet. think after tomorrow that's it well after today tomorrow everything will be in its place wow that was lucky first rock 
Ah, oh, too slow. orange one. Another orange one there too. Okay, I got a bunch of hybrids today. Oh my god, I buried it again. I'm an idiot. Ugh. Force of habit. Because <laughs> I dig here and I bury stuff again. Oh well. This is also done now. Wait, it grows yellows? Interesting. Maybe I might need to look at a clone hybrids. Okay, this made more pink ones. Hey, it's a Twitch chat. How's it going? Weird. I'm debating whether or not I should put a bridge here just for convenience sake, but then why have I done this? I don't know. That's fine. You work up, had a shower, and then remembered you don't have work. <laughs> no. You're the type that can't go back to sleep if you've already woken up and started your morning. Right, these things are on my beach. I need it. First time I'm getting them. Slide already 8.30. For some. <laughs> For me. Still, I, I mean, depending on the day, like, sometimes I could maybe go back to sleep. The cardboard chair. So I have the cardboard sofa and the cardboard chair. Oh, yeah, CJ is supposed to be in town. I haven't seen him. I've got all four fossils. Is that- oh, that may have been him behind the museum. Oh, 
What is that? Left harrowing. That should be the full thing now. Yeah. Sure. The ter Pteranodon. Among the very largest animals to fly, they were role models to us all. With a wingspan of over 23 feet, in some cases I find it simply stunning that they ever did more than just glide. But fly they did, soaring dynamically and dramatically over land and sea. Wish I could have seen it. No. Oh no, that's just Julia. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. CJ here, coming at you, um, well, it's more like standing by. You, I guess. Anyways, ever since I started doing my C-Sports challenges, I've been training in a huge way. It's so slick. Each time someone navigates a challenge, I offer to buy their fish, even at pay, pay premium. Okay. Three big fish in a row. All about... Okay. This one's a little more tricky now. Zebra turkey fish is not large. the big fish. I just want to get Dunson. He's available. Well, I have the seashells that I want to sell, so... I don't want to ruin it and try and catch the medium shadow, just in case it's not right. Uh, I mean... Oh. 
Let me check the pond. Sometimes there's carp in there. No. I don't think that's big enough. Right now, I feel pretty cursed. I'll make the fish disappear. Big fish! Just... I love how now the sea bass have all vanished. Every other time I'm looking for something else, plenty of sea bass. Now that I actually need them, they're just gone. So shout out. Does that count? Oh, oh it counts. Alright, cool. So one more. love how just, yeah, didn't get sea bass, really. And now that I don't need them anymore, watch them just appear. model of a koi. I mean, I can go look for a villager. I can go look for a villager. But like, making money is also very appealing.
course, I don't want to also turn this into like a four hour fishing stream. need some of these for crafting, but that'll be the 10 that I sell. And... Apparently I have some extra fish here for some reason. One of the other mummy trees should be ready today as well. I saw on TV the other day that house parties are popular now. You invite friends over, eat snacks, chill, hang out, and I want a house party too. Say, you wanna come over? Sure. Welcome home, just kidding. Like my place? If you see something- oh no, not this. I'm good. Wait, how does one even sit down in that chair? I don't think you can. Fits my butt perfectly, uh-huh. Since you're here, how about we play a game? Sure. Alright. Good. <laughs> Easy. Unless I'm really unlucky. Okay. Alright, now I can go. Rockabilly. Do I have that? I think I have that. Let me go over to the the flute band. Yeah, okay.
Oh, yeah. Now it's here. Okay, well, now I have it. I could have had it for a few days. It doesn't matter. start this process as well. Yes. This is Scoot, Lifting Pro. Need anything lifted? Want me to visit your campsite? Why not? Sounds like fun. Hey, you've got gravity there, right? I want to make sure my free weights are gonna work. Zip zoom. Of all the odds, I just bought a pack thinking, hey, I'll try and get Scoot, and I got Scoot. <laughs> Hello, Sheppy, Sleep, and Energy Pulsar. Hello. Welcome. Alright, but Scoot I'll probably use to move out the cow. Since I get a choice. And then I can roll the dice on the one that's missing now. This game is so good. It is a lot of fun. I do enjoy it. It was great in 2020. Very needed. Thanks for the invite. I'm super pumped to be here, ZipZoom. I'm on a quest to take my fitness to the next level. By the time I'm done, I want my biceps to have biceps. And why should I stop at a six pack? There's lots of numbers higher than six. Zip zoom. This place has such a mighty style. Hey, you know what would look cool? A wild log bench. Really, would you? That would be so awesome. Here's the recipe. Wait, what does it say on the back of his head? Turn around, Scoot. One to five? What does that mean? <laughs> I have no idea what that means. It's... It's... Hmm. Oh, that's what- oh, that's what it looks like. I mean, that would be nice to put outside the camp. It's just hardwood. Yeah, that can work. Uh, I guess I'll just go get the hardwood. actually looking good now. <laughs> it's not messy anymore. and place them just outside the camp. Well, actually, I need to give him one, so I guess it made sense to craft two.
Yeah, so what I wanna try and do... Yeah, fits. I mean, okay, I only... Wait, can I landscape? I don't think I can landscape this. I think it doesn't allow you to. Be weird if it did. All right, I'll leave it for now. <laughs> Here you go, Scoot. Well, I didn't know a log bench could feel so brawny. So, it doesn't express how mighty my gratitude is, but I want you to have my camo bomber style jacket. This Shamblona trip's been way cooler than I'd hoped it would be. Zip zip. I hope you'll invite me out here again. Just say the word and I'll swim right over. Oh, he swims? <laughs> I like Scoot. What does this look like? Oh. Well, that process has started. Just gotta do it two more times and then he can move in. I'll sell. So I have a choice. I can either go look for a villager or I could start using the design browser and start doing different pathing and stuff. I guess, uh, maybe I could use it for decoration or something. I mean, what time is it now? It's seven. Okay, so like, if I start looking for villagers now, it's not gonna be too bad. with me as well now. <laughs> I have all these. I don't really, I mean, I don't need them anymore. Oh wait, isn't there a... Uh, hang on. 
Yes, so there's plant, flowers, and plant a tree or a shrub. So cool, I can do that on one of the islands. And it counts. Um... Just want to get through... There's three, right? Three, okay. We'll go check the... The recycle bin and see if anyone's put one in there. And I have a ticket on me now. this thing. Otherwise, I still have to go see Harv's Island just to check the art. Uh, no freebies on foot. There's a bathtub in here. I'll take that. Someone threw out a whole bathtub. I need a bathtub for the house. Oh, wow, okay. Damn. Why would you throw that out? It's so fancy. Island first. Do the haircut thing. I get, I get it. It's free. <laughs> but I will probably not change my hairstyle. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh no. Yes. This must feel bad, like, I come here every day and then I just say, no, change it back! And then the next day I come back and the same thing happens. Okay, let's bring up the art guide. Sculptures... somewhere down the bottom. The fake version will have Nike's left leg forward. The real version has the right leg forward. 
This is fake. Because this is, this is like, like, forward. Yeah. But I'll still buy it. I can place it outside somewhere. I can go in the garden somewhere. Again, just saying you won't regret it. It's not the kind of thing you want to hear when you buy something. I see something, yes. You lie in your comfy bed and the dream drifts in your sleep. After visions of a happy life on a beautiful deserted island, you awaken refreshed and renewed. From this vision, I had to do that your luck with health would improve. What does that one mean? Luck with health. Yeah, fortune meanings is what I want to know. Um, luck with bells, luck belongs with luck with health. Stamina meter increase doubles from food. See, if I was moving tree, I might move trees later. I might move some. I mean, if I only have to eat half the amount of food, why not? <laughs> Okay. It's time to spin the wheel. <laughs> and see where it lands on which villager. I mean, I'm getting scoot from an amiibo card, so it's like, I should probably leave the, the next one up to luck. I also kind of have to do it, otherwise it's going to be random. It's Cherry Island. Alright, so there's no furniture on this island, so it's gonna be fruit. Who is it? I don't even know who it is. Where are you? Where is the villager? Oh, it's a dog. B. Wow, I thought I'd be the only one on the storm B. It's a nice dog. Already, I, I'm trying not to have two of the same animals with the exception of the koalas. already. Can I even make another one? There's oh, this stone here. Okay, cool.
I want to finish the... Because there's a milestone for selling weeds and I was pretty close, so... I think I should be able to get it and it'll buy me a ticket at least. buy stuff from Leaf, but that's okay. Just normal wood. Mossy garden rock. Another thing for Pekka's garden. Probably going to be the first house I finish decorating on the outside. Try not to take this long on all the islands, it's just these initial ones I'm going to get as much as I can from them.
Wait, what? Oh, it's flimsy. I didn't upgrade it. Right. <laughs> it's fine. It's because I didn't have wood. Now I should have what's required. Give stick, please. Ah, uh, wait, that should be enough. No? Oh, I don't have stone. Now I do. Is that a... Hmm. I mean, CJ's on the island, let's see. Not to see this. Could tell right away. I didn't realize that uh, if Bill was moving out, then I guess I would have to take action on this right away. It's alright. It's like 50,000 nook miles that I have. I would rather not use all of them, but if I have to. Okay, 
Well, I would like another 30 normal wood. That's pretty much all I'm aiming for. Once I have that, then it's like, it's fine. Good enough for now. I will go back to Harv's Isle just to check what Leaf has. I guess I have these already. I guess I'm just gonna have to go buy something from okay. Yeah. Let's get a tree from here. Uh hold on. Not the fish. Just the fruit. Good. Okay. 
put stuff away and then we go. What am I looking for specifically here? Customize, catch a gold. Goldfish is not going to happen. They're not around anymore. That was really unlucky. I must have, like, just been on the edge of that when I started. I forgot to sell the weeds. for a while. Change socks. Another easy one. I need to buy a tree. There. Like, I think two more trips and it should get it. It's fancy. Eh, I guess they're the same. to leave that ticket. Oh no, you have a flea. <laughs> ah, did anyone see you catch a flea on me? Sorry, I should be thanking you for that, bud.
Okay. Let's go with island number two. It's a monkey. check how much I have left to go yeah I mean it's 150 so two trips should do it sorry <laughs> Monty don't believe Matt name's Monty fancy meeting you here wherever here is I'm a mite fuzzy on that part G Tang G Tang Tang. Towel basket. This will probably be the last island I chop wood on, and then the rest is just gonna be check the island, get the furniture, move on. Well, also the the hornet, because it's worth money.
I need more to make more mermaid fencing. Okay, that made it worth it. I still haven't made anything with the gold. Like, I can now, but I'm waiting. I think once I get the uh, the weed milestone, then I'll stop picking them up, along with trying to get wood.
Oh, I didn't plant the tree. Whoops. Sorry, I'll go on the next island. You already have it, okay. I must be getting close to the end of the... the fossil segment. I feel like most of them are duplicates now. I should probably deposit the money. It just said there's no extra inventory slot taken. Second number three. I mean, I still have, if I sell the weeds that I have at home, I could probably make the quota. But you still need them. Let's just 
squirrel. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Probably not gonna go with that one. Okay, before I forget... There we go. Oh, okay. It's Waterbug Island. It's a good island because they sell well. Got to get back down there and craft. Should be catching all of these. Hey, come back. Ah, oh, that's just annoying. Did I like? No, I didn't customize the net. I customized everything else except the net.
How did that not work? Oops. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Probably too awkward to do. Hey, Mr. Sam, how's it going? All right, that's everything. Awesome. What about me? I'm doing all right. Kicking back after a long ass week. Hey. Okay, so that's what the squirrel looks like. It's a unibrow. Hazel. Got yourself out of a family garden because you couldn't be bothered. <laughs> it's fair. So what's the plan then? Just doing nothing? Bugs appear quickly, I'll get them, but it seems like they're taking a while. I want to enjoy a night as a 33 year old pensioner. <laughs> it's not that old. Come on. How do you think that makes me feel? Hey, bug. Bug! It's not gonna come across. this to drag out, but at the same time, these things are worth money. I'm like the veteran's aid kit. The irony is, it's like, in future it's gonna take longer to retire. So being in your 30s just isn't that big a deal. Mm. 
things just take longer to achieve nowadays. Screw it. You're enjoying old age from now on. <laughs> I think staying home and doing nothing is underrated. Kimono stand? Hmm. That's up thing. All right. Identify the fossil, buy another ticket, and keep going. can't socialize after being at work. That makes sense. I mean, if you have a limit on how social you can be but per day and just batteries empty, nothing you can do. I'm unjudgmental. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I can, that can be judgmental with certain things. Just not a lot of things. Nah, I like the ones that I have. These, these are good display ones. Social media since 30 has been 2%. <laughs> I'm not bad, I just... I'm terrible with... small talk type situations. You have your nephew's birthday, you don't want to sound like a child, but fuck you. <laughs> you just, I mean, what is it about it? You just don't want to be around a bunch of children running around and screaming? Yes, yeah. I think those parties are fine. Provided there's something for the adults to do. You hate kids. <laughs> Would you ban Pokemon cards? Or if they were, like, saying an annoying phrase, just ban the phrase outright so you don't have to deal with it. Would you ban the word chub if 
a group of children said it enough times. I mean, not all, not, not all kids, not all kids are like that. There are some kids that are obnoxious and loud, but I've met nice kids. Like, you know, my niece is, she's very nice. But I guess maybe if I, like, spent an extended amount of time, I'm sure there's a time where she'd be running around and yelling as well, but it's like, they're just kids. I guess because I've been around kids my, my teenage life since then. I had younger brothers, and then I'm an older cousin to just a large group. So... I've been around a lot of little kids. <laughs> How old was the youngest brother? Uh, it's a 12 year difference. So... Yeah. <laughs> And then most of the, the cousins I have are, like, in that age group. They're just... With the exception of a couple, but anywhere between... Uh, 16 to 8 years younger than me. You have 14 years with your brother, but it's only you guys. Your cousins are a bunch of cunts, very stereotypical. <laughs> what do you mean, very stereotypical? Stereotypical to what? Is that a wrestling outfit? It is. It's a horse. It's a wrestling horse. Okay. Also forget, like, I should say C-word and can't. I'm not saying it with a U. Just YouTube hates that word. A typical dramatic Italian family. Like, TV family. Because I... You know, I've, I have had Italian friends, but I don't think they've ever been on... The only stereotype that I've seen as true is just, like, using their hands to talk and express themselves. Like, that is... That is the only thing I've experienced. Other than that... Just drama. Yeah. I mean, it's just cut from a diff different cloth. Like, sometimes... It's just different people. I have a lot of... I have... There's overlap with my cousins and what I have in common with them. But there are some that, you know, I just don't have things in common with them. They... They like sports. Or they're into, like, heavy reality TV show stuff. And they're not into games at all. I mean, you can't pick your blood relatives, but you can choose your family. That's, that's what I say.
I got the... yeah, I got the wasp and the furniture. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the fruit and the... the weeds. Who are you? Victoria. Wow, I didn't expect to see anyone on this island. Nice to meet you. I'm Victoria. You're from Chamblonia. I've totes heard of somebody trade cool. Oh, it's a pop star. A pair of celebrities. Another, another pop star. That wears a wrestling mask for some reason. Been watching the new Kitchen Nightmares, and man, they had an episode. Uh, what was it set? I think it was set in Jersey, but like the dude, the dude that was on there, man, <laughs> just the starter kit of just obnoxious, annoying dude. Like, Uncle Energy, for sure. Well, not Uncle Energy. Uncle's Friend Energy. Try and guess his name. I feel like people like that, they always have certain names. He called himself the culinary gangster and he had his own t-shirt. That's, that's the kind of person that was on the show. Goal made you laugh out loud. Oh shit, that. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Yeah, you know, I just want. Um, I'm projecting that the Earth's population will hit that in about 10 years' time, so that's roughly what I want. No, no biggie. I forgot I did that. You ever try to make a joke and no one notices it, and then it just suddenly detonates, just goes off randomly, and you're like, oh yeah, right, I did that. <laughs> Slowly getting there. Yeah, no worries. Just give me give me ten years, I'll I'll do it. <laughs> oh man. Surprise this lets you do that. That's pretty much the story behind that. It was just that. I was like, I wonder what's the highest number I can enter. It's not the highest number you can enter, but it was pretty high. So I just left it. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Welcome to Emera and the uh, Bazinga. Ugh. Should be realistic and just set it to be like a proper goal. Yeah, I'm, uh, I mean, I'm not a monster. Like, you know, I didn't try to go to the moon. I just want to end up in the stratosphere. I think it's realistic. <laughs> it's 
it's not a it's not a moonshot by any means. I should have made it like just that number plus one. And just make people ask, wait, why do you want plus one? Why not just round it down? Like just some arbitrary number. If I was starting if I was starting fresh, I'd set the follower goal to be like twelve. <laughs> just no, no, just keep using irregular numbers, just to keep it funny. Twelve, thirty-nine, forty-seven, seventy-two, eighty-three, ninety-one, hundred and thirteen, one hundred and forty-five, just, you know, like that. So you try to figure out if there's a pattern to it. Oh, I forgot to sell the recipe. All well-known lucky numbers. <laughs> I'm sure I listed a couple there, but I went completely random there. You would see that and think that's a person with a plan, that's a person that's going places. Damn. If time travel becomes a thing, I'll, I'll go back and action that. I'll get customization kits because I need them. This is for the Nook Mile thing. If there was time travel possible, I would use a time machine to go back and find the person that first did the stupid open mouth face for a YouTube thumbnail, and then just convince them that the end of the internet happened because of that. Like, they, they were the genesis of the destruction of the internet, and to prevent it. <laughs> it's a very specific thing, but I want it gone. I've seen that there's recent, uh... Like, recent YouTubers have tried not doing that, and apparently it it's better that you don't do that. Like, just keep your face normal. And it gets more engagement these days. So, maybe it's the end of that stuff soon. Uh, how many weeds am I away from that milestone? Also, I need to cook something. What have I got? I mean... Oh, I can make puree. Alright, do that. Oh yeah, and thank you for the follow as well. <laughs> My bot broke somehow, so I'm still not used to checking Twitch to see that stuff. Usually a message appears in the chat. The bot says, hey, someone followed you. And then I, I react to it almost right away. But I just... I, I don't look. Hot item, okay. Don't worry about it, happy to be here. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. I try to acknowledge. I just think it's polite to do so. If someone made the effort to be here and to click that button. 
The very least I can do is say thanks. But granted, sometimes it's like a bait. It's not that people have explicit names, it's just like, you know... I've, I've seen some names, let's just say that. Wait, why is there a... Oh! Oh no, it's done. Okay, cool, I don't need to get weeds anymore. And that bought me another ticket. Uh, what's the hot item? Hot wooden block stall, okay. Wooden block... It's the best way to get rid of softwood, but it's the worst item for... For the hot items, because you have to craft a toy, and then you have to craft the item. So, like, the crafting effort is doubled, and they're not really worth a lot of money. But, it does get rid of a lot of softwood if you have it. You mod for a couple of streams, and they'll come in and follow so fast before you can catch them, and you're like, Oh, gee, streamer friend, don't read that name out loud. See, I've gotten into the habit of trying to read the name in my head first, before I say anything. Or if they're trying to be funny, like, just read a small portion of the name and then it just ruins it. Like, give them a nickname right away. It's not as common, though, because Twitch did crack down on the more egregious ones. Okay. Let's see. I want a villager. I don't know which one. I haven't looked at them. I'm just going by surprise and winging it. So, when I know the villager, I want... Is that a chicken? It's a chicken. <laughs> I haven't seen many chickens. You look very angry. Are you, are you gonna have like a voice? Wow, okay. I was not expecting that kind of voice. Oh, he's wearing like a, a ninja outfit. This is a ninja chicken. Almost looks like a Pokemon. Like, be part of a duo, you know? One of them would be blue, the other one would be red. I'm trying to think like what animal would complement a chicken as like the opposite. Wait, why are they all big? What's going on here? Okay, I <laughs> guess I got baited. Not bad. The only rule I'm trying to follow is not a village I've had before, and 
repeat species, I guess. Air circulator? I think I know what that is. Oh wait, I'm picking up weeds, I don't need to do that anymore. Alright, where's the wasp? Ooh. These are worth. Okay. I'll get the fruit and we can go. I have 50,000 miles, so... Let's just try and get through as many as possible. What has Harry sent me? A bathtub. Apparently I already know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna start laying custom pathing tonight, but... If I leave the villager thing, someone random's gonna move in, and I kinda don't want that. I mean, I guess it's probably more appropriate to do it tomorrow because, um, this house will be in the position it needs to be in and then the town is like, I have everything in its spot and then I can start to lay things out. In particular, getting rid of this abomination that I have here, which is just every single fruit tree in this corner. I'll start spreading them out a bit. I hate it, but I couldn't think of any other way of moving things around without too much hassle, so I just put it all in a corner. Do I need to drop off any? Yeah, I need to drop off stuff. get salt. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through all these tickets today. I mean, I guess my plan B is just, like, if I get someone I don't like, it's just move, make them move out later, but... Isabel, please, it's only 8pm. I've only ever been sleepy at 8 p.m. once in my life. And that's because I hadn't slept at all. I mean, okay, maybe as a child when I don't remember, but that doesn't count. Manifest a good villager chat. Whilst the loading screen happens, I'm just going to refill my bottle of water. <laughs> Good villager energy trademark. It's a bear. Big bear. <laughs> like a literal teddy bear. Wilderness training is just the best, isn't it? I'm Teddy, what's your name? Oh, how great to meet you. Manifested a teddy bear. <laughs> Best villager. A teddy bear. Thinking about it. Wait. Because I have Pekka. Are they the same species? Because Pekka is a bear. I think I already have a bear. The cubs are distinct from the bears. Gotcha, okay. Well, I mean, I have two koalas, but, like, I felt like I didn't have a choice with that one. That's why. It's like, if I have two bear, like... Yeah. It'll just start to stack. It'll be... Because koalas kind of look like bears. And then I have Pekko, who's like a cub. Bear adjacent creatures, yeah. So yeah, it's a good choice, like, I like, visually, look, 
Looks good. Colors are nice, just... I think all the animals that I have. So, like, let's see. Deer would be one that I could get. I'm gonna get a duck through Scoot because I'm using the amiibo card to get Scoot. So, duck's covered. Don't want any of the gorillas. I don't like the gorillas. Monkey, maybe. Don't have a squirrel. I had a mouse, but I don't really like the mice, really. I mean, there's, there's options. Building a house in Tears of the Kingdom is a pain, only if you care a lot about it. I just slapped mine together and it had like a major hole in it that I uh, called uh, just a patio. Outdoor patio. And then I put all the dumb photos that I took as decorations. Like my, uh... The scene that I set up in Tarrytown, but... Straight away from the light a little. Do you, wait, do you end up building anything in the lower part of town? It becomes like a... I don't know, like a racetrack dome thing? It becomes like a... Yeah, people just race mm, custom machines there. Thalmasaurus. The ador adorable Ophthalmosaurus. Cutest of the Ichthyosaurus. What makes a large sea dwelling reptile cute, you may ask? I tell you, the eyes. Ophthalmosaurus's name means eye lizard, and its face was quite dominated by those great orbs. Besides the cutifying effect, these eyes gave the creature great vision, making it a very successful hunter. And no doubt, because it's big, doe eyes lulled prey into a false sense of security. And there you have it. Nah. I gotta be getting close to the end of completing the fossils. OK. 
Okay. I hit B. <laughs> this is what happens to me when I alternate between PlayStation and Nintendo stuff. One day they'll all agree on what button does what. I've got plenty of knock miles. I'm doing this one at a time because I don't want to buy a bunch of tickets and then not use them. Okay. I got a good feeling about this one. Just you wait. Huh. Bamboo Island. Well, this is gonna be a quick one. Oh, it's another rabbit. I already have a rabbit. Daddy. Why do I always find pop stars? I feel like that's a very common thing for me. Yeah, I already have Sasha for my rabbit, so I'm good on that front. Let's go back. That was quick. I don't really need bamboo, so... I'm just going to go get the ticket right away and just come back.
I mean, there are 400 villages <laughs> that I haven't seen, roughly, so it's just... I've only seen a very small subset of them. The fact that people look for their favorite ones, man. I kind of lucked out. Like, I like Alice and just found her right away both times. This is more of just, I want to see what's available. There's the furniture, another- that's, I have so many of those. Your friend was looking for Kiki and bumped 500 plus tickets into her, never found her. Looking for one villager can be a nightmare for sure. The two villages I wanted, one I got right away, and the other one, out of curiosity, I bought some of the Animal Crossing amiibo cards, because they were in a vending machine. And I got the villager that I wanted out of the cards, <laughs> so... I kind of lucked out. Now I can summon that both of the villagers at any moment. Assuming they continue to support them in future games, but... Pay to win. Yeah, I got the villager I'm, I was looking for and two of the villagers that one of my friends really, really wanted. So... Oh. I think I've run into you before. Yeah, I mean, you got three cards in a pack. And they're split up into series. So then, there's like a hundred cards per set. So, I mean, the odds... They're, they're low, but not too low. I would recommend looking up the card list so then you know what series you want to go after. Because the first two packs I bought out of the vending machine was just like, alright, I'll just get these. Didn't know what was in them. And then I found out what series Scoot was in and bought a pack and hey, <laughs> Scoot right away. I have ridiculous luck. But also bad luck at the same time, it's just chaos. I wouldn't even call it streamer luck because I wasn't streaming. Scoot is so good, yeah. He's in my campsite right now, I just have to invite him two more times. He'll be part of this town. And I got Sasha and Lone as well. 
Oh, is it AI not lying? I don't know. Oh, nice try. Reflexes, motherfucker. It was charging. <laughs> gamer moment right there. That's a gamer moment for this game. Yeah, I have to wait until I invite him two more times. At least here. I just saw the jump and then just immediately just knew, okay, I have like, I was on the right, I was correctly looking at it. all that stuff. I probably should sell the protein shaker. They have enough of them. Last night I ran into like seven spiders. So I was wondering when I was going to run into one today. Now, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have invited Scoot. Because I could have run into him. On the islands. But, I, I mean, I guess... I get to pick who, get, who moves out, so, yeah. I guess there's the balance. I wonder if they'll ever make these processes in these games just less of a 30 second conversation. I think it's fine the first time you do it. It's like, yeah, that's fine. But afterwards, I feel like it should just be streamlined. I don't know who that mouse is. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, it should just be, hey, Will, where do you want to go? Just right away, and then just pick. Also, the fact that if you want to go visit someone, it has to reconnect. Man, I remember just when multiple people visiting an island. One person turns up, it goes to a loading screen. You have to wait for that person to land, then there's like a notification that says they're arriving, a notification when someone leaves. Do you? Greta. That's a fresh face. Are you visiting from another island as well? You'll say this is a baby game, but they've never known the pain of not having bought crafting or staying. Standing at the kiosk, taking out one ticket at a time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that thing looking for me or no, it's gone. Yeah, I've never understood the whole rhetoric of just, like, baby game. Especially when the argument is like, oh, play a game like Call of Duty. It's just like... There's a, there's a pretty large amount of kids playing that game. I would say that's more of a baby game. I can't say I've run into many eight-year-olds playing Animal Crossing. I mean, there are, for sure, but, like, proportionally speaking, the viewership doesn't tend to be younger. At the end of the day, it's just like, what, you're gonna really measure just because it doesn't have shooting aspects? It's not important, it's just how much fun you have with it and how much you enjoy it. It's like a form of escapism. Just leave people alone. Yeah. I play a bit of everything, so, like, I've never understood just lumping things into just the baby category. I really love playing Animal Crossing. I like playing Kirby. I like Stardew Valley. But I also play games like, you know, the Souls games and stuff like that. That are considered get good, or, like, roguelites that just murder you practically every run. But each are a different form of entertainment for me. I don't know, I feel like you, ha you have to be a bit of a, uh... Like, cynical asshole <laughs> to not find a game like this, I don't know, at the very least charming, like even if it's not for you, you can go, oh, this game has a nice art style and looks very happy and wholesome. But if it's not for you, it's not for you, fine. Mm. 
It's unexpectedly fun, yeah. I don't know. It's just this weird form of gatekeeping that still exists for gaming. It's like, you have to be into games, but oh no, 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 you can't just be into any game. You have to be into the games that are considered, like, adult games. This is... I have a red one now. Let me just place this here for now. I'll move it back when I get uh, home. I wonder if it's like just remnants of that era. Because, you know, there was a time where the way they, they marketed certain consoles was like, oh, this is, that other console is the baby's choice. I feel like it's just because of that. It's another bat. Groucho. Oh, that voice, jeez. He's got like a claw mark on his face. Dude's a fighter. Grouchy mask. Groucho marks. Know, looks like a biker. He has a biker jacket. <laughs> Grouchy because it's Animal Crossing. Another recipe. I don't think I've found anything I don't have yet. Okay, this is new. Gaming is in this place where when a lot of us grew up, gaming was not mainstream and had a bit of a stigma. Now it's more accessible and popular and I think some people still feel a bit resentful about the change over, if that makes sense. The gatekeeping is very silly. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I definitely grew up in... in that, you know. Gaming was still seen... Up after a, you hit a certain age, you were just seen as like, why do you still play games? They're, they're for kids. They're like... You, know, you were seen as like a massive nerd or a geek, and not in the good sense. Like, that term has, uh... It's no longer really negative anymore. It used to be a negative thing. Man, all out, like... I wanted just more people to, to enjoy gaming with growing up, you know, and as a teenager. And to think that there are people out there that like, okay, now that it's a thing where we're finally having it so, you know, a larger percentage of the population is gaming and 
the whole thing about owning a computer makes you a nerd or like owning a game console as a teenager makes you a nerd like that shit's just gone it doesn't exist anymore and there are still people that would that probably wanted the same thing you know for it to be more acceptable are now trying to gatekeep it it's it's so stupid just be happy that like it's it's more of a an accepted thing and you don't get shit for it like you used to it's, it's just i don't know some people they just insist on if you don't, if you're not enjoying what they enjoy in the way they enjoy it, then you're doing it wrong. And you're clearly not a true gamer. And again, it's, it's just dumb. I think that's it. I wanna, I wanna keep going through these tickets. Hold on, was that a big fish there? Nah, uh, probably a sea bass, but let me try. Like, imagine getting... Just, you know... Ripped on by someone just for owning a computer. Or being on a computer. For more than an hour a day. If you're not optimizing and speedrunning or playing incorrectly, no. Nah. Not all games are like that. There are some games that attract that more than others. This game is good because it doesn't really attract too much of that. Just people discussing what villages they like. The theme they're doing on their island. That's just... It's chill. Like, <laughs> you don't get people coming in and going, Ew, Why the hell do you want Scoot on your island for, idiot? Don't you know Scoot is like the inferior choice? You should be getting Drake. Drake is the better duck. The Clearly the superior duck, moron. Go back to playing the babies game, Modern Warfare. Just leave the real gaming to us. The true Animal Crossing fans. Like, do you know how asinine that sounds? <laughs> Yeah, don't be mean to Scoot. Scoot's my boy. You can definitely say that you might not be a fan of certain villagers, but you're not going to call someone an idiot for taking a certain villager. how we keep bumping into each other. You know what, I just saw someone's been putting out Halloween decorations. It's gonna really help me remember what month it is. It's harder than you think, Hoppity. I like the color scheme of that rabbit. It matches my logo thing.
So, I mean, we're approaching 15, 16,000, something like that. Should really keep the net out. Just in case I need to like reflex catch a spider again. run into you before. What's her name? Like, something Mina? Yeah, Pashmina. She's not bad. I don't have a goat. bad. I don't know. What do we think? I still have a lot of tickets. Wait, do I have- hang on. Do I have her card? I might have her card. I forgot what came in the other pack. Hold up. Where'd I put him? There's somewhere here on my desk. Because if I have her card, then it's like I can always summon her. Then it's like, well, if I strike out, I can always come back. I got the ones that I got the first time around. Where are the new ones? I don't know who they are. Okay, yeah, it's not. I do have a goat, but it's not her. Okay. It's Zell. Looks kind of similar. No, yeah, I might go with this. Because then I can focus on building. I always change my mind later. Okay, I got- well, I got everything, so... Zell is sweet if I find- well, I have the card for Zell, so... I don't need to find Zell, I can just summon Zell. Uh, 
I think this is the third time I've run into this goat as well, so it's like... There's probably a reason. What are the odds, honestly? He's polite. Ah. Oh. I have some polite animals on my island. Melba is very polite. Same with Alice, both of them. I think this time I'm not going to push my luck. We'll go. We'll go with Pashmina. It's a different animal, and looks good. And then Scoot will fill up the last slot. Okay. Kidders. Come to my island. Cutting right to it, huh? You sure you also want someone like me around? Where are you from, anyway? Shambloni, I think I've heard of it. Is it nice there? You know, I think I might... I think a move might... Ex bleh. I can't read. I think a move might be exactly what I need to drag myself out of my ruts. Plus, I'll have you around to introduce me to everyone and show me where all the cool parties are and stuff. Alright. I'm great at stuff. Alright, done. It's not bad. It took like... What? 15... No, 16,000... Uh, nook miles? It's a sea bass. Oh, all of Flanders still. Okay. You can go home now. What's with those people holding signs of Hudson's face and Tears of the Kingdom? Wait. People holding signs of Hudson's face? What do you mean? Like the signs that are literally Hudson or the... the, the Mr. President, um... thing where you have to, like, make sure it stands up. Okay. Um, I'm convinced that that dude's like a gopher. Like, he's a clumsy tradesman, and, you know, they know he means well, so they give him this tedious task to just get him out of the office. How do you do that? How do you do what? Make the thing that stands up? Just use whatever's lying around. I mean, if you want to cheese it, you can use, um, certain Zonai devices. Well, now that I've kind of settled on that villager, I can probably spend some Nook Miles to get some cosmetic stuff around the island. Ten.
Okay, let me get this, because I've been neglecting it for a while. stole. I'm just gonna get some recipes for things. I mean, you can probably customize the sign. We'll get one. Buy it. Hydrant. Yeah. Just things that make this seem like a more legit town. Let's start with two. Portable toilet, street lights. Let's get this. Machine? Maybe? Oh, five per day. Well, that's my five per day. See, there's so much I can get. That's gonna go in, um. I know exactly where that's gonna go. There's a reason I got Pietro, because then Pietro makes sense to have all that colorful stuff. So I can make, like, Pietro's house and front yard and all that just sort of like a mini amusement park, but we'll see. make money, but... Probably gonna decide against it. Okay. Now... 
I want to start some decorating stuff, but before I do that, I noticed that it's been three, almost three and a half hours, so because I do upload stuff to YouTube later, I'm just gonna split it here so that it doesn't become like a stupidly long VOD. So if you have reached the end here on YouTube, if you're watching this later, thanks for sticking around, hope you enjoyed, and if you want to support the channel, just uh, whatever YouTubers typically tell you to do around clicking buttons with a thumbs up on it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm lazy today. Thanks to those that do do that, it does help out a lot, and uh, yeah, if I remember to do so, you can also watch me do something else with the other two videos that may have popped up. Alright, see ya next time, YouTube.